personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, we got two videos in one for this video. I'm gonna, I, I got, I got, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Alicia Bumgarner, and I'm gonna talk a little bit, a little bit about Michaela Mayer because they both have some new developments in their career. So. Uh, make sure you guys look at the timestamps at the bottom so you guys can figure out which videos you want to watch, which part of the video you want to watch, whether the Bumgarner part or the Merit part. But we'll start with none other than the bomb herself, and she is bomb. Shout out to Alicia Bumgarner. Uh, you know, she she's right now, Alicia Bumgarner, she, she's sitting she's sitting at the top right now. She, she's got the crown on her head. She's the queen of the division right now. Uh, she's the reigning lineal WBC, IBF, and WBO champion, and she only needs one more, one, more, one more belt. She only needs that WBA strap, which was occupied by Hugh Mee Choi, who, who really doesn't ever seem to fight anybody. And Hugh Mee Choi recently uh, stated to the WBA that she was injured. So now the WBA has declared and downgraded Hugh Mee Choi as the champion and resets, basically meaning that she's not the champion right now and that if Alicia Bumgarner is to fight for Undisputed, which she is because the WBA have granted her wish. They're allowing her to fight for the, w, the, the WBA title so she can fulfill her dream and fulfill her goal at 130 of being the Undisputed Champion. Um, so since, since Choi is not in the way anymore, it, the, the two next highest available contenders are uh, a German fighter by the name of Ramona Graf. I don't, know, I, don't know say, I don't know how to say her name. It's Her last name is G R. A E F F four and uh, with no knockouts. Um, you know, don't know anything about her, so I'm not gonna try to sit here and act, act like I do. But the second person I definitely know about, and that is none other than uh, Delphine Pursun. Yes, that Delphine Pursun, the same Delphine Pursun that you know had suffered some, I believe, egregious atrocities done to her record. She should have beat Katie Taylor, and she should have been able to, you know, have that one on her record when she when she fought her. Uh, a couple years ago, but you know, um, personally, look, I, I would love Bumgarner versus Pursun. I think it'd be a really good fight. Pursun has, I mean, a great record. I mean, listen, she's forty-seven and three with nineteen knockouts. Forty-seven and three for anybody is good. You know, forty-seven and three. Uh, she's been champion. She's she's shown herself to fight at a high level for a long period of time. Um, I, I look at her as one of the best pound for pound fighters in women's boxing because she is. She 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 fought Katie Taylor when Katie Taylor was at her optimum best, and I, along with many other people, thought she beat Katie Taylor. And some people think she beat she beat Katie Taylor twice. Um, you know what I'm saying? So Delphi Pursun is a top class, grade A level fighter, and for Bumgarner to have that on her resume to become undisputed, I think I think beating a Delphi Pursun, if she could do it. Would be above beating, you know, the other girl who I don't know much about, but like she can't be better than Pursun. Pursun's forty-seven and three, and she's been champion. She fought Kate Taylor. There, there, there's no way the other girl is better than her. And then, you know, Hu Ming Choi, she don't want to fight nobody. She seems like she doesn't want to. She don't want no smoke on anybody. Not Mayor, not Bumgarner, not nobody. So, um, Pursun versus Bumgarner is a fight to make. You know, stylistically speaking, you know, Bumgarner has shown she could be the aggressive counterpuncher, uh, as she showed against Terry Harper. But then she's also shown she could be the elusive, athletic. Uh, pure back foot boxer like she was against um, Michaela Mayer where she uh, you know she employed a lot of lateral movement and, and, and you know used that to her advantage she did what a lot of people myself included thought she couldn't do which is beat and outbox Michaela Mayer so she's shown her level in the sport and I think uh, the pursuit fight would be great because Pursun is an intelligent pressure fighter and you know that would obviously uh, be a good style clash so I'm, I'm, I'm all for this happening, I'm all for Bumgarner getting undisputed. I think it's going to be great for her. I think if she could beat Pursuant, it raises her profile before she makes her move up into a glamour division, which is 135, where you got the likes of like, you got Katie Taylor, you got um, a lot of fighters over there. And one fighter that stated that, that she's going to be moving up there, and this will, this will pivot into the next part of the video, is Michaela Mayer herself. Yes, Michaela Mayer has stated that uh, she wants her next fight to be at 135, to be at lightweight. So she's moving from 130 to 135 to try to make a name for herself there. So let, here's, here's what she said in regards to moving up to lightweight. She stated the following, and I quote, I'm going up to 135 for this next fight. 
I'm going to start making a name for myself in that division. Katie Taylor has always been on my list. I have a lot of respect for her. She has accomplished a lot in this sport, and I want to challenge myself against her. I definitely hope to get that fight made sometime in 2023, and I'm not going to stop there. I feel I have the size and the skill to also go up to 140 and 147. So she's she trying to become like a four-division champion. She's she, she, she trying to get on her like Terrence Crawford, you know, Roman Gonzalez type shit, you know? But then she went on by also saying, and I quote, that's what's great about women of this era. We're willing to challenge ourselves in multiple weight divisions. So we, we, we will go where the big fights are, you know? And, and, and that's what it is. So I, I like, look, look, if, if, if Michaela Mayer follows through on her words, this is exactly what I said she should do. And what many people believe she should do, which is like, if you're not going to get the bum gone or rematch at 130, don't waste no more time at 130. Go out to 135, go get some, go get some wins, uh, try to pick off some big names in the division, like a Katie Taylor, if you can. And then that way, by the time Bum Garner gets there, boom, the rematch that everyone's going to want to see is, is going to be even bigger because now you'll have become a multiple weight world champion. You'll have um, more wins added to your resume and there'll be more buzz around your name than there already is. Um, and then we can reignite what I truly believe, like, you know, to hell with Crawford Spence, to hell with, you know, you know Charlo Andrade, Fury Usyk, Garcia Davis. This, to me, in terms of rivalry, is the best rivalry in boxing. I, I would say the only rivalry that's on this level for the men would be Tony Harrison versus Jamel Charlo. And they could maybe fight later on next year if Tony Harrison could beat Fundura, and that could potentially set up a, a third fight if they both, if, if, if Harrison beats Fundura and if Charlo beats Tim Zhu, which is, you know, going to be kind of an unlikely scenario. But apart from Charlo and Harrison, this is the best rivalry in boxing because you can tell... Alicia and Mayor don't like each other. They, 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 they both believe that they're better than the other. And um, they're A-level fighters, you know. So it just makes it that much better, you know. So, um, yeah, great, great, great stuff going on on one's box right now. But let, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Alicia and Baumgartner will fight for Undisputed next at 130. They're saying that uh, since Choi is out, okay, Pursuant or the other 4-0 German girl, those are the options. I'm hoping it's Pursuant because Pursuant deserves her shot. She's been putting in work for years. And she really got scooting against Katie Taylor. Mayor is moving up to 135 uh, for her next fight. Maybe her next fight at 135 won't be against Katie Taylor, but she wants Katie Taylor sooner rather than later. And she's gonna try to she's gonna try to beat Alicia Alicia Bumgarner there, and meet her there, and and drum up some interest for a rematch by making a name for herself in the division. So uh, that's the news. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos. You can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care. Thank guys. you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.